input is currently letting you down, I want to show you how to improve shooting on your weaker side. Any of my weak foot videos, and I've done a few now, I always talk about no more weak foot. If you want to be a good player with two strong feet, I need you to eliminate that phrase from your vocabulary. From now on, you have two strong feet. Having that mentality, saying that to yourself, like, oh, it was on my weak foot, that's why I missed, that's just setting yourself up to fail. From now on, especially if you want to follow my content, you want to work with me, my players are two-footed players. You go both ways, you're good with both feet. So that starts in the mentality. Allow yourself to have two strong feet. In this video I wanna talk about how you can improve your weak foot faster than what you're doing right now. And number one is with that mentality. Next, I want you to think about. Just think about. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you wanna find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Next. What you think about how many more shots you've had on your stronger foot compared to your weaker foot. Maybe you've been playing five years, maybe you've been playing 20. But if we had to just estimate and put a number on it, maybe this leg's had a hundred thousand shots on it in your entire career. Maybe this one's only had five thousand, ten thousand. It makes sense why this one's so much better than the other one. We don't have to overcomplicate this video. It could be very simple. The reason your weak foot isn't as good as your strong foot because you haven't put in enough repetitions. If we even out the repetitions, we'll even out the skill. Okay, so one thing is practicing. On both. When I'm practicing by myself, I'm always shooting with both feet. If I have one on my right, but when you're in your team practice, try to do the same. Just because other players are watching, but a lot of players, they'll shy away from shots. So number one, if you're shying away from shots in your team practice, because you think you're going to look silly in front of your teammates, how are you supposed to do it in the game? So think about that. Always trying to shoot on both feet. The other thing I want to think about is in a match, how many times have you had the opportunity to strike the ball on your weaker side, but because it was on your weaker side, what did you do? Took it back on your stronger side, and then the opportunity was gone. Okay, you had wide open space on your left, but you thought about it in your head, you said, oh, this is my weak foot. I'm not very good on this side, so I'm going to bring it back to this side. The defender was there and the opportunity was gone. Don't do that anymore. It's so much more valuable for you to have it on your weaker side and totally shank the shot, but at least you took it. At least you were brave enough to try on your weaker side. So if you ever have an opportunity on your weaker side in the game, hit that shot. Whatever happens, happens, but at least you tried. You can learn from that. You cannot learn, you cannot improve Every time it hits here, you just say you don't hit it. Okay, so when it's on your weaker side, practice game by yourself. Hit the ball. Always hit the ball. You'll learn from what happened. So the next thing I want you to think about is analysis and comparison between your stronger and weaker leg. So let's say I'm a right-footed player. What does my technique look like on this side? Okay, it could be a laces technique, this could be curl technique. What does it look like on my strong side compared to my weaker side? If my technique is totally different, then my shot is going to be totally different. So what you need to learn to do is try to make technique the exact same on both sides. So I'll give a, another example because this is a, some things, a few things I see a lot. So let's say I'm a right-footed player. 
My technique on the side is very nice. Nice follow through, good back swing. Body over the ball, making good contact. And then you go to the weak side. There's no back swing, very little back swing. Contact point is not where you want it. Let's say I'm trying to hit with laces. Maybe I'm hitting it like here because I don't know how to flex my foot in that way. And then my follow through is not big and strong. It might just be like a clock drop. Like so, if I want to produce the same type of shot on both sides, I need my technique to be the same. So think about what you do on your strong side. Nice, flowing technique. And you need to learn how to replicate it on the other side. And if you can do that, over time you'll improve a lot faster rather than just getting repetitions. Most players, yeah, you want to go and practice your weak foot, that's fantastic. But, what are you doing? You're going out there and you're hitting the same shot the same, the exact same way, a hundred times in a row, and then getting upset when you're not improving. You have to change the technique if you want the result to change. So, learn how to analyze, learn how to get outside yourself, and say, okay, I need to have a bigger back swing. I need to have a stronger foot. I need to have a better ball. Let me give you a few points to focus on. few points right now for technique that I think will make a difference for you. So number one is the foot flexion. Right now, let's say you're a right footed player, for you to flex your left foot, point it down, really make it strong, if you want to have a strong shot, you need to have a strong foot. Because if I make contact with a weak foot, I'm just going to have a weak shot with a lot of backspin. If you want it strong, you need to make this foot strong, you need to make this leg strong. Now I'm going to guess, especially if you're really struggling with your weak foot, on this side, when you flex, that's easy. It's natural. When you flex and you try to make it hard on this side, it's hard to do and your foot might even be cramping because you don't have the strength in it. And that is that is the truth. You don't have the strength in it. You don't have the mobility in it. You don't have the muscle memory in it. Think about it like this. Basically, what you've been doing is, if you have one foot that's really good and the other one's not so good, it's like going to the gym for 10 years and saying, hey, I want to get big arms. I want to get big biceps. But you know what, I'm just gonna curl on my right side all the time. And then five years later, you're like, you know what, maybe I should have two big arms. And you start curling on this side. But you can't lift the same amount of weight and you can't even squeeze it, you can't flex it in the same way. When you flex it, it hurts. It's because you don't have the muscle memory in that arm. You don't have the muscle memory in your foot. So in order to develop that over time, just get those repetitions but focus on making that really strong, really hard foot, make better contact. The other thing that I see a lot, and I want you to focus on and make a big difference, is a bigger backswing and follow through. On your weaker side, your backswing might be here and fall through here, okay? So really try to increase the range of that and the speed of that. But if you can add those two things, I think you're gonna start hitting better shots on your weaker side. This is the featured subscriber for this video. If you'd like to be featured in future videos, hit that like button, drop a comment below, and let me know how my videos have helped you improve and achieve more in this sport.